Hey everyone, my name is Kyle and I own Kyle's Kinetics. You got two minutes, I'll show you how I make this baseball hat. Starting with this half inch piece of stainless steel, I use a hole punch to create divots so I can drill holes for the snap back of the hat. Once these holes are drilled through, I can cut metal to create the buttons of the snapback. Then I clean and deburr this piece of metal before I put each of the rods into its respective hole. Then once these are all set in place, I can tack weld them from the back. At this stage, they're all clearly too long, so I trim them down with my grinder and then I use my TIG welder to round the tips. I can now cut this piece in half and line it up with the back of the hat. Then I take these two pieces and I spread them out based on the opening for the back of the hat. I TIG weld them together to solidify it and then I can attach it to the hat seamlessly. And there's a pretty large gap right here so I can use this rod and my TIG welder to fill in the gap. And then I use my grinder to blend the whole thing, make it look seamless. And then I use this cool tool called a compass to find the center of the hat. I again use a hole punch to mark the center so I don't lose the spot when I grind it off like this. I just use my grinder to do repeated passes over the metal to create really shiny and pretty patterns. Then I use this round ring to make the button of the hat. And here's a fun fact, that thing's called a squatchy. And now I can weld the bill of the hat to the main body. Once it's tack welded in place, I can then solidify it with a solid weld. Then I do a series of welds that I call a dry pass. This is where I do not add metal anywhere. I simply use the TIG welder as a means to simulate stitching on a hat. Now I'm gonna skip ahead past the painting and past the balancing part, because that could be its own video. Now I can insert the emblem and weld it from the back. And the thing is I have one shot, because once this paint is done, that weld can ruin the paint. Thanks for your time and for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time.